you don't want to keep it. We just want to make sure the contact is good for everybody or the content uh, as we go down that road. All right, so let's go backwards for a minute. Sonya in World News is here with us. Uh, thank you for coming in. And short order cook said, I'm so late. I'm sure if I converted that NASA and Meta that spent a million dollars on taking theologians on how to introduce extraterrestrial religion. It's crazy. It's crazy. But it's a plan, folks. Okay. They are planning right now while you sleep. They're planning. They're planning to figure out how to keep control. Control. They don't want to lose control of the biggest system of all, and that is some of these religions. And so they're like, what do we do? A barrier that some people feel that it keeps them in check, and now the crazy stuff begins to happen. So we know that, uh, and we know some of the things. Uh, D said, let me put this up. up. D said, uh, so as a kid, I was visited by three cloak figures. I wish I had more details on this race could be one. One was in red cloak, black cloak, and white cloak. They spoke telepathically. Any ideas? Um, you know what? There are some stories that I've heard a little bit, D. Uh, in fact, I was talking to somebody else today that was talking about how they often get visited by orbs and, and different things. So it's, it's not your story is not something that we have not heard. And his belief was that maybe they were spirits, Okay. Uh, you're welcome to uh, go into whythebigsecret.com, go to the contact us or the Project Black volunteer side, and also it says submit uh, any type of experiences. You can submit there, uh, and hopefully you provide a telephone number, then I can call and give you a little more insight. I'm, I'm really interested in helping and talking with any and everyone who has had an experience uh, of any kind. And so those are things that we will look at it. Uh, Cranky Pants says, uh, unfortunately, I raised my kids as born again Christian. And now they're so stuck on that that my son thinks I'm crazy and I'm wrong. Well, what was one of the messages in the book? You know, raise a child as, you know, as, as, as a kid, you know, blah, blah, blah. And he's going to grow up. So, yeah, they, they already knew that system was going to implant what you're dealing with today. That's OK. But the experience of it is what you don't want to happen is that he mentally cannot handle the truth. And when the truth comes out, how would he react? So I'll start asking questions like that, just like hypotheticals, you know, like, oh, son, what do you think if there were aliens? What would you do? And if he starts saying something, I'm, 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 by that time, mom, I'm going to grow up and get my gun and I'm going to shoot him. We got work to do. <laughs> we got some work to do. Right. So. That's okay, but just think about it and, and, and begin the process of, of doing that uh, and, and see what he says. And so, yeah, once again, it's it's one of those things that I think is, uh, you know, important, but glad to have you here, part of the conversation, and sharing that, you know, because that's something that we would love to uh, do. So, and in the world today, say so having to read the books, Exodus and Ezekiel, and it's in the Bible. Okay, but well, it's fine. And depending on the age, and you know, and, and you see how the interpretation would be, uh, but at that point. And, um, but, you know, again, it's going to be the hand that rocked the cradle, right? We know that. So whatever he's getting and comfortable with. And, and so we just kind of go from there. But once again, so now we're talking about the Vatican. Nick, if you're still here. You know, what are your thoughts now that you hear Gary Nolan talk about the Vatican? You know, let's see what you say in the chat uh, and then we can kind of uh, get from there and pretty much uh, and we can kind of see what's going on. Um, Jeff, if you're still with us, uh, let me know in the chat. I might bring you into the conversation for a few minutes, you know, with something we might laugh about a little bit. But, you know, the whole point is that, uh, you know, where are UFOs in the Bible? Somebody give uh you know, a lot of different uh, things. But one in particular I would tell you to start with is uh, Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. And that just simply 